Hey Dan, tell us about page selection in Sketchable. I can do that. Today we're going to learn about page selection in Sketchable. What are they? How do we use them? And why do we need them? This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM. That's me. I am a 2D illustrator, and today I'm going to walk you through the page selection in Sketchable app. I'm going to go ahead and click on my Sketchable icon, get Sketchable going, love that new logo. And it's going to bring us to the last place we left off when I was last in Sketchable, which is the sketchbook that I created, and let me go ahead and show you. It's called Sketches. It has, it's a square page. And there it is, I'm in here. Now, there is a page menu that we should be aware of. It's right here. So let's say I drew something on this page. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and fix that head. There we go. Got a hat, got a mustache or a beard. There it is, nice. And then, now I'm in the page selection menu, and this is where I can move to the next page, quickly swipe, or use the buttons on the left or right of the screen, or get really fancy and click on these three dots up here on the top, and I can go through the full sketchbook or journal that I have here open. And I can click back to where I was, and then click back into the page real easy. The other icons that we should be aware of are, let's say that you uh, want to insert a page in a particular place. Well, we're on page one of 10. I can click on the plus and boom, now we're on page two. And if I already had a drawing on page two, then that page two becomes page three. It's really cool in how you're able to add in a page whenever you need it. You can also add a page by going all the way to the end. Let me try that again. Let's go here all the way to the end and if you're in the last page and you're like well you know what i need to keep on adding pages to my selection of sketches and drawings there's always a plus button this little uh, arrow turns into a plus and now you can add your page here also so there's a couple options depending on where you are we have the information on this page what size of the page is it and if we want to name the page with a particular name or title that keep, helps us keep track. That's pretty fancy. I like that too. If we don't like this page, like the one where I accidentally left the line. There we go. Come on back. There it is. This one. I can say, well, you know what? Let me go ahead and delete that page. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes, please. Get it out. Awesome. Now, what if I want to export this page? Well, there you go. Let's go with this one. I kind of skipped one of the icons, but let's go ahead and export that page. This is very helpful all the time for me because as an illustrator, I wanna be able to work on a sketch and get the basic things out of my head, but sometimes I need to export that out into another type of file. In this case, I can select not just a PNG or TIFF or JPEG, but also a bitmap. That's cool. I have another circuit for you. If I'm in the page, and I go up to the menu on the top left, file, export, and page, I get a Photoshop file type. Oh man, to me, that opens the world of possibilities with this artwork. So let's go back to the main menu of the page selection. If I wanna bring in an illustration or drawing, here we go, a page, I can click in, and then I can go ahead, I can click on import the page, start looking for that page in my files on my computer. I promise you, I know where it is. There it is. And now say, let me bring in this image. And now it has brought in another page and there it goes. There it goes. It brought it in all the way at the end of the list of pages. And then when I click in it, there it is. There's the drawing that I started with. And I can now start using this page to lay out the rest of my drawing illustration and fill it in and render it. So as you can tell, these, all, these link, all these little icons are really awesome. 
uh, I would like to show you the camera. And uh, yes, of course, boom, boom, boom. And hey, that's me. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> there it is. Oh yeah, I like that. There you go, done. Saving a copy. And there it is, swipe. There's the picture. <laughs> yes. Oh, I gotta do something with that. That's awesome. Okay. So finally, of course, we have the icon to take us back out into the journal. And the last icon is to go ahead and start drawing inside that page. This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM. And I hope that today's tips are helpful in expanding your digital drawing creativity. Please share, like, and subscribe for more Sketchable insights. Until next time.